Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to be installing the new sound system, which I decided to go with the Logitech Z313. This is a little 50 watt uh, computer speaker that you can pick up at Office Depot, Walmart, Best Buy, sell them all over the place for about $49.99. Now, I already installed the speakers to the top. And I'm gonna tell you what I did. I am not gonna take it apart because it is a pain in the butt. If, first of all, what you have to do is uh, remove these uh, two screws on both sides. And once you do that, you can put enough pressure to it to where you can pop the marquee out. And if once you do that, you can slide this plate out, but you really need both hands to do this. So that's why I can't exactly uh, put it on video right now. But what I did, of course, is just like I said, Took that out, slid this out, and the back piece, as you can see, this is at an angle over there. So the top of the speaker went towards the bottom area, and the bottom of the speaker went towards the top, which is actually a perfect fit. You can kind of slide it in there. Um, of course, you'd probably ask, you know, well, doesn't it slide around in there? Um, it did, of course. Uh, but what I did is I used a uh, heavy duty adhesive used a double side of it and uh basically just uh stuck it to the board over there so now it's nice and firm it's not going anywhere used a uh, pretty good amount of it so definitely in place and that way the sound comes through through the uh, drilled bottom holes and of course to uh make space for that i had to remove the original uh speaker system so this is it right here and it had these little covers on top as well. So I had to remove this in order to make way. Let me show you how it looks like around the back as well. Let's see, let's get our flashlight out. So you see the speaker cables are headed up there. You can't exactly see it because everything's else in the way. So went ahead, you have tons of access cables. So went ahead and uh, tied it up. Make sure everything is nice and neat and organized. And uh, put the subwoofer right here on the bottom. So the first thing, of course, when I went to go pick it up, it did slide around. So what I did is I put these little brackets on. I found this, uh, I think it was for one of my little uh, shoe bracket or something to uh, mount it to the wall. But it's a little L fixture that you can use. And I basically put adhesive on the back of that as well. And then went ahead and uh, put the little Phillips screw in the bottom so now when i try to move it it holds it's nice and firm so it's not going anywhere now there is still a few things left that i have to do uh basically what i gotta do is i'm gonna be moving the power adjuster to it so this little unit comes with this uh, remote which is also a kill switch for the sound which you do need um the reason i say that is when you turn on when you're when the unit is not plugged in and you turn this on there'll be a huge buzz so that's really annoying if the game console is not on and the game's not going this will buzz really bad so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and cut out a piece over here through the hole a little rectangle area to where i can pull this through because if i try to do it from the bottom it's just not long enough to reach my goal that i'm trying to accomplish is to have the remote right over here on top so the best way to do it of course is to go through this area so i'm gonna go ahead and go to lowe's pick up a little tool cut me a little rectangle right over here and have this mount on top so that every time i get done playing i can just hit the button and i don't have to put up with that nasty buzz but yeah let me go and uh, power this on and kind of just give you an idea um, as for the power, I am going to run it through the bottom over here. So I'm just going to, I don't need to cut much. I just need to cut like a little bit square over here so I can get the power plug to uh, fit through there. See, it's not that bad. Let me see. Yeah, see, just need a little extra. So no big deal on that one, but I do got to go pick up a tool. Uh, but before I go and do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean by that buzz. Let's go ahead and crank it up. See? 
as you can see once you crank it up the buzz goes away but you heard that little buzz in the beginning now let me show you what i mean when i turn it off there it is again Now it starts making a little chirping noise, like it's a little birdie. So that's why it's important to have the kill switch. Boop, just like that. So yeah, there you have it. We'll go ahead and get those little holes cut out, finish up this little project and get a sound check. All right, went ahead and got the holes uh, cut. I, uh, the only power tool I have at the house is a drill. So I went by Lowe's to pick up one of these uh, circle drills and uh, I was able to get a nice little decent sized hole I had to put a little bit, a little bit extra to it because it wasn't wide enough this is a uh, one and a half inches uh, so I had to get a little extra to it and then uh, I did the same for the bottom I just did one hole on the bottom for the power cord for the subwoofer and uh, yeah that was more than enough for that one so in case uh, you guys need to go by and pick up this piece or you guys are in the same situation where all you have is a drill, just uh, grab you one of these Linux uh, circle saw bits for the drill. And these are fantastic. Work great. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to put this back on. Let me see if I'm forgetting anything. Um, nope, I think we should be all set to go. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on and we'll see how it looks. All right, and there you have it. Went ahead and lined everything use the uh, lighter adhesive. I didn't use the uh, heavy duty like I did. Um, this is the heavy duty I use for the, keep the speakers in place. But for the top, I used a uh, 3M. I just have these little small little tabs. I didn't want to go ahead and put something so strong on the top because I was afraid that it would uh, possibly damage the paint or something when I try to take it off next time. So yeah, there you have it. Maybe we got the little controller mounted right over there. And then you got your power cord going out through that hole. And then, of course, you got your other power, which is already there. Um, but yeah, there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it in place, power it on, and uh, check it out, see what it sounds like. Alrighty, went ahead and got the system powered on. Let's hit the button, see what it sounds like. Ooh. I don't know if you can pick that up. Much, much better. 50 bucks, totally worth it. You kind of have to play with the levels. You'll have to adjust the uh, volume knob. There's a little volume knob on the other side over here you can kind of play with. And you'll kind of figure out where you want to keep the sound. I usually kind of keep it on either like a 9 or a 10. 10 is a little too much. I think 9 is just fine. It doesn't uh, over-exaggerate the subwoofer too much, so... I think the sound is kind of just nice and balanced on this one, but you kind of just have to kind of play with it and it'll end up being perfect. But yeah, there you have it. Let's see if I can get some, let's see. Get some sound. Exactly play with one hand, but I'm gonna give you an idea of uh, what it sounds like during gameplay. I'm just gonna let the simple guys ass whooped. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Not as easy with one hand, but you kind of get the idea. It sounds really nice. It sounds a lot better than before. Oh, wow, that's loud. 
there you have it. Next, uh, I guess what we're gonna do is just uh, finish this up. I am gonna get a, uh, a light behind the uh, topper so I can get that illuminated. And I do have some buttons uh, I'm gonna put in here. I'm gonna finish up the rest of the kit. I'm still waiting on my new knobs because I'm still not a big fan of the orange knobs over here. But once I got those in, I'll do a final video of the cabinet just to show you everything that I've done and uh, go up and uh, calculate all the costs and everything, see how much everything costs uh, to build this uh, cabinet. But before I go, just one more time, I'm gonna share the tools that I needed for this cabinet, for the sound. We got this uh, circle saw piece for the drill. This was, I believe, about $19 or something like that from Lowe's, yeah. About, yeah, 17 bucks. Yeah, not too bad. And then uh, you'll need a screwdriver, the Scotch Mount Extreme. This one holds up to 12 pounds. It's what I use on the speakers. For the speakers, they are the Logitech Z313 speakers, about $49.99 Office Depot. Also picked up a little bit of a, a clean duster. Uh, this is to just get the sawdust out make sure you get all that sawdust out before you install the subwoofer because you know You have to keep in mind that thing sucks air in so you don't want that sawdust to get in there You know possibly one day, you know catch fire or something So that's another reason I always make sure to unplug my units every time I'm done using them But you also need a measuring tape uh, for the top uh, button controller again. I just used the uh, 3m uh, command uh, light little strips uh, this is a uh, just so that it doesn't tear up the paint on the top and the outside. And of course you need something to uh, mark with when you do your measurements. Uh, I made sure my subwoofer was nice and aligned in the center when I set it up. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. Next video, we'll go over everything. Let you we'll go over all the models that I did. And then uh, yeah, thank you again for checking out the video.